right, this is Rob J from Solar Harmonics. Welcome to another video. And uh, it's going to be just kind of a short direct from camera to YouTube up link because uh, I don't have my video software ready in my new computer. Um, I got a new computer with Windows 10 and I'm in the process of trying to get everything uploaded and set up. All my software since and um, some of my material that I composed in the past. Anyway, all that stuff takes time. Um, so, Black Sabbath and Ozzy Osbourne, that's today's subject matter. And uh, we're going to start off with War Pigs. That was my version, a little jam um, based on War Pigs. Anyway, War Pigs is an interesting song because it is basically an anti-war song. And uh, the song itself, the lyrics are very deep when you think about it. I mean, when you have lines... Or phrases like the God of the hand of God has struck the hour. Um, the politicians are on their knees begging forgiveness for their sins, but yet it's too late. The world is in ashes, and that's there's nothing le else left to do. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of an Armageddon type of song. Um, you know, look at the today's. You know, I I thought it was a fitting video to do for the times we're in right now. You know, we got this war in Israel and the war in Ukraine going on, and, you know, everybody's at, uptight about what's going to happen in the future. It's scary. It really is. It gets really scary. So anyway, um, moving on here, I have three of my favorite albums based, you know, with Black Sabbath and Ozzy Osbourne. And the first one is obviously the Black Sabbath, original Black Sabbath album, first album. And one of my favorite songs off that album is actually the title track, Black Sabbath. And, um, the album cover is interesting because I ran into a couple on YouTube who actually travel around the world and they went to this place and featured it on their um, channel. And uh, it's a, actually a mill um, with a lake in front of it. It's in England. I'm not sure exactly where. But anyway, also this, this woman that's on this album cover, she's actually an electronic musician. And she at this time of this cover shoot, she was a model. And her name is... Um, Livingstone, her last name, her first name is you uh, forget her first name, Louise, Louisa, yeah, Louise Livingstone. And anyway, uh, Black Sabbath. Uh, the next album, which is one of my favorite of all time, Black Sabbath albums, that's Black Sabbath Paranoid. Um, interesting story behind this. I had a neighbor uh, when I lived in Flagstaff, Arizona, that gave me a vinyl LP copy of this album. He was your quintessential hippie guy, <laughs> even with the VW van and everything else. He was from California, and he was a spitting image of Donald Sutherland. I'm not kidding you. He looked just like Donald Sutherland, particularly Donald Sutherland in Kelly's Heroes <laughs> as Oddball. That was the character he played. He was a tank crew, op tank operator, a tank crew guy. Um, anyway, if you remember Kelly's Heroes, that World War II story, about the uh, this group of Americans trying to defeat the Nazis. Anyway, it's a great movie. It's kind of silly in a lot of scenes, but it's it's a really good movie. So that was Donald Sutherland, Kelly's Heroes. Um, next on the list here, we're going to talk about um, School Days. Well, when I was going to school, one of my favorite albums to play was Black. Sa I mean, Ozzy Osbourne's Blizzard of Oz, also Black Sabbath as well. But we used to play Blizzard of Oz all the time with songs like I Don't Know, Crazy Train, and some of his other material like Off a Diary of a Madman, Over the Mountain, and so on. So that was something that we used to crank on our boom boxes back in the day. <laughs> Black Sabbath and Ozzy Osbourne. And uh, speaking of school, I, if you recall on my channel, if you're familiar with it, I did a, a video titled Paranormal Phenomena that was based on my hometown high school in Kingman, Arizona. That was recently featured on Ghost Adventures. Well, we're going to continue on with the uh, the paranormal phenomena, and we're going to discuss one of my favorite TV shows, The Osbournes. And uh, it's titled Osbournes Want to Believe. It stars Ozzy Osbourne, Sharon Osbourne, and his son, Jack Osbourne. Interesting thing about Jack. Jack is actually a paranormal investigator. He goes around the world and investigates various places, and in this particular TV show, what he does is he shows clips of paranormal activity that people have captured on video, and he tries to get his parents to be convinced whether it's fake footage or 
actual footage or something actually paranormal. So they have this scale called the Woogie Boogie scale and his parents give it, you know, a number <laughs> and he does too. And, um, but oftentimes this, you know, the show's kind of silly, but it's very clean for the Osbournes. A lot of times Sharon's exotic dogs, <laughs> um, will take over the show. Um, she has several Pomeranians and she, they have this husky named, um, Elvis and he has a brown eye and a, and a blue eye and he often takes over the show. And they have this other dog named Doug, who's a golden retriever type of breed and he'll steal the show. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one right here like with his nose between the two chairs. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's silly. The, the dogs are jumping all over the place and driving Ozzy crazy and everything. <laughs> it's a great show. It's really entertaining. I enjoy it. Um, so that's the Osbournes want to believe. So um, in closing this video, I would like to say that we're living in interesting times. A lot of people think it's perilous times. But, you know, the best thing to do is to think positive and just to carry on. It's easy to get depressed. It's easy to get worried. And there's a lot of stress going on out there with today's economy and what have you. But anyway, this is Rob J. from Solo Harmonics. I hope you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for future projects. As usual, all I need is time. Thank you.